Hello, beautiful ladies. Dr. Chelsea Page here. I am the soul doctor and I help women like you become and embody their inner soul queen and really, really take on this place of pleasure intelligence and power intelligence and emotional intelligence and soul intelligence and all of the yumminess that actually creates and embodies you to have the soul queen essence that is actually already inside of you. And I am so excited because today we, I want to really dive into this place of power and really understanding my perspective. I wanna give you my perspective around power because I feel like there's so much that actually gets said about we give our power away, we give our power away, we give our power away. And I was actually thinking about this this week and thinking like, we don't actually give our power away. And so I wanna dive into that a little bit today as we have our episode here. And I'm here every Tuesday every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And also, so I'm here live on Facebook. So if you wanna catch me live here, live on Facebook, and of course, I'm spreading all my yumminess everywhere. So you might be watching me here on Instagram at Dr. Chelsea Page or on YouTube. So all over the place, Got, gotta spread my yumminess all over the place. So if you're hopping on, say hello. And if you're watching this on the replay, comment below and say hello, hello, hello. So ladies, you don't actually ever give your power away. And some might think like, wait, what, 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 Chelsea? Like we, that just reminds me, have you ever seen that movie? Was it Sword in the Stone? And he's like, hoo hoo, what, what? Do we actually ever give our power away? And as I was thinking about this this week, and power is one of those really key pieces of being a really empowered woman, which is what the soul queen is. She's very empowered. She has a good relationship with her power. And there's so many things in our life, and I couldn't even begin to go into them here in this quick little chat. I want to have you here with your with you here today about power, but there's so many things that really have us feel like we have to do things in order to feel powerful. Like we need to please others to be powerful. We need to do all the things in order to be powerful and worthy and all of those amazing things. But in reality, right, you are already those things. And there's a quote that I had going around on Facebook recently. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But it says, the power that you seek already lives inside of you. It already is inside of you. And we never ever actually give it away. Our power is an essence inside of ourselves that is ours. It can't ever be given to somebody else. And I wanna clarify what I mean by this because again, the language that usually gets said is you give your power away. I give my power away. We give our power away. When actuality, we don't give it away because it's not a commodity to give away. It's not like, I don't know, like a dollar, that I have a dollar in my hand and then I give it to somebody and therefore I gave my dollar away. That's not how it works in the way that I'm starting to really see it and really own it inside of myself and I wanna bring you along with this is our power actually never gets like diminished it's actually something that can grow and grow and grow. And the thing is, when we experience the moments where we quote unquote give our power away, we actually are hiding our power inside of ourselves. It's not giving it away, it is hiding it. It is putting it somewhere safe inside of ourselves because it doesn't feel safe for our power to be seen in either a relationship or we don't feel like it's seen, you know, okay to be seen maybe in your business or with your clients or just overall in your life, right? We grow up in this place where power actually doesn't feel safe or power doesn't feel like a good thing or power feels like it can be this negative thing that happens, especially if you've experienced what many of us often say is we experience someone having power over us. And when that actually happens, our power never goes away and we never actually give them power. What we're actually giving them 
in other people and the them could be, you know, an elusive them. Oftentimes we're like, oh my gosh, they're going to judge me. Well, who is they, right? And oh my gosh, they have power over me. Well, who is they? <laughs> so we have to be careful with that. But oftentimes it feels like there's a specific person or event or situation. And it's not actually that we give our power away. What we're doing is we're hiding our power away. And therefore, as a result, we create this space in front of ourselves and this space inside of ourselves, inside and outside, that then someone else's power, power in their energy, power in their voice, power in whatever it is, then fills that space that's there because our power we hid away. So when we have that experience of giving our power away, we're actually hiding our power. It never goes away, which is a good thing because it's not something that we need to go get back or go hunt down, or go find somewhere outside of ourselves that actually already is inside of you, you've just been hiding it. It's been it's been kind of in safekeeping for a while. And it probably is this case because you've experienced some not so good things in the past or not some good messages in the past that told you that your power is not okay. That being you, which is equivalent with your power, when you are you in your most authentic, genuine, full expressive self, that is your power. Your power is you and you are your power. So the more you are you, the more your power, they go hand in hand. That's just how it works. But when you're hiding your power, you're actually hiding yourself, which means you're actually protecting yourself. You're hiding your power, hiding you, hiding you, hiding your power. So you don't ever give it away. You're just, what you're giving is you're giving someone the floor for them to have the space to actually step in and have their power be seen, have their power be present in that space. And sometimes we then, if we don't have good energetic, energetic and internal boundaries, what then happens is we actually open up our internal system so that power actually also kind of moves inside of us as well, which then actually has us move the power inside of ourselves even further. We want to keep it even further and further away because we want to keep it safe. But then as a result, we actually hide our authentic self, our true self, and our connection to our soul self, all those pieces, we hide those away as well. So again, the good thing is you never gave your power away. It never was something to be taken. It is something that is so precious, so amazing, so valuable inside of you that you would never ever have given it away, ever. You just hid it away. You just got all sneaky and hid it inside of yourself for safekeeping and thank goodness you did this because you had experiences in the past where you had to hide and keep your power safe because that's what the thing you needed to do. In order to protect you, you had to keep your power hidden in a way. But right now, with who you are, I close to guarantee that you no longer need to do that anymore. You don't need to hide your power. Therefore, you don't need to hide you. Because remember, you are your power. Your power is you. And if you're hiding your power, you're hiding you. And we don't want to do that. We don't need to do that. It is safe to be you. It is safe to be in your power. So we want to let that shine and let that out. And we don't want to hide it away and then go into people pleasing. We don't want to hide it away and then go into doing all the things. We don't want to hide it away and then have someone have their power be seen. Because also, which can be a whole other conversation, we don't have to compete for space for power. There is space for your power, there's space for mine. It is not limited space for our power. So we don't need to shrink down our power and hide it away just in the presence of somebody else's power. You get to shine out your power. You get to be you and you're magnificent and shine so bright and be you and be your power and be you. Your power gets to be you. It is you, all those same things. You get to have that. And I get to too. How amazing is that? We don't have to compete for that space. So you don't need to hide. Stop hiding. Stop hiding. And then we become, we do this hide and seek with our power and all these parts of ourselves. We don't want to be playing hide and seek anymore. Go find your power because it's hidden inside of you and let it come out. Come out and play. Let you come out and play. And I guarantee you it is safe. It is safe. It is safe to be you. It is safe to have your power. And this, this is... Ooh, I could keep going on and on, but I want to, I'm actually going to drop it into the comments right now. If you have not gotten, so oh, let me, oh, there it is. If you have not go, gotten the Soul Queen Power Meditation, where there is this power meditation that goes even further into this, definitely sign up for that. It's completely free for you. 
and we go into the power pieces that the power that you seek is inside of you. You never gave it away. It does not live in other people. This is external validation. This is external worth. This is external power seeking. This is what I seek lives in somebody else. My worth lives in somebody else. My power lives in somebody else. My success lives in somebody else. My enoughness lives in somebody else. No, it doesn't live in anybody else and you never gave it away to anybody else. Never. The biggest lie and the biggest distraction that we have given ourselves is that it lives in somebody else and we need to go find it. We need to go hunt it down. We need to go seek it because somebody's got it. Somebody's got it. I don't know who it is. Somebody's got my power. Do you have my power? Where's my power? I don't know where my power is. I'm freaking out. Where's my power? Somebody has my power. Oh, you might have my power. Ah, I'm going to please you. I'm going to do all the things for you because then maybe you're going to give me my sense of power, my sense of worthiness and enoughness and how amazing I am. So maybe if I do all these things and please you, then you're giving me my power back. Mm, mm -mm. See, that's a very exhausting roundabout way to go for something that is already inside of you. Right here, hand to heart. My power lives inside of me. My power is me and I am my power. The more I'm me, the more I am powerful. The more I am powerful, the more I am me and it keeps going and going and growing and growing and it's safe to be me, it's safe to be powerful. It's safe to be me and it's safe to be powerful. It all lives inside of me, inside, right here. Because where you go, you will always follow and what you seek is already inside of you. So stop wandering around and getting exhausted. Sit down, turn inside of you Seek it right here inside of you. It's right there. It's not in some crazy hidden place in somebody else or like somebody who lives in like, I don't know, Timbuktu or something. No, it lives inside of you. Well, sign up for that meditation. I will see you next week. That's just the soul queen powerness that's coming out from me here today. And I'll see you next week. Love you so much, babe. Mm -hmm.